In the Marvel hierarchy of power, the Hulk is pretty close to the top. His power is immense, but it does have limits. Here are 10 reasons why the Hulk isn't as strong as people think. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Before we start breaking those down for you, like this video and hit the subscribe button below to get notifications of our new content. And Hulk. <sighs> Smash. Number 10. His strength is his only strength. The Hulk is strong, but that's pretty much it. He can take a beating, jump really far, and has a host of other powers that are all derived from his strength. And honestly, not that much different from a lot of other heroes. Without the versatility other heroes have, Hulk could end up in a bind if he can't punch his way out of a situation. And I will bathe the stallways in your blood. Hulk isn't the strongest hero. The Hulk may be one of the strongest characters in the Marvel Universe, but he's by no means the strongest. Thanos, Apocalypse, and even Silver Surfer are all stronger than he is on a purely physical basis. And they all have powers aside from just physical strength. Hulk! Even though he can punch through dimensions and grow to massive sizes, that alone isn't enough to bring the Hulk on par with others. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm just mad! He isn't invulnerable. There's a lot of thought that Hulk is invulnerable. After all, Bruce Banner tried to shoot himself, but the Hulk just spit the bullet out. I put a bullet in my mouth, and the other guy spit it out. While the Hulk has massive regenerative abilities, he can still be defeated. The Void once did this by restraining the Hulk and breaking every bone in his body, injuring him so badly he didn't heal for days on end. Hulk also tried to fight Zeus, but the Greek god just punched Hulk hard enough to make him vomit and left him in a heap on the ground. And I'm a huge fan of the way you lose control and turn into an enormous green rage monster. Thanks. His powers are reliant on anger. Sure, Bruce Banner carries around a lot of anger in himself, but no emotion can be sustained forever. Once the anger fades, so does the Hulk's power. Other heroes can call upon their power essentially at will, but the Hulk needs emotional motivation to keep him going. I'm always angry. In one of the most famous scenes from the comics, the Hulk hoists a mountain range in the air, but he has to constantly be insulted in order to stay angry enough to sustain his strength. Is that all you got? He's too slow. A speedy hero that lacks strength can still beat the Hulk, simply because he's too slow to keep up with the competition. Even characters like Daredevil and Spider-Man have been able to evade the Hulk's attacks for long periods of time. You didn't see that coming? When you're that huge and have that many muscles, you just don't move as quickly. A fast character with a lot of strength could easily defeat the Hulk in a fight. That little witch is messing with your mind. You're stronger than her. You're smarter than her. You're Bruce Banner. He can be mind controlled. Part of the Hulk's strength derives from his simple mindedness. It's easy to stay angry if you lack brain power. The Scarlet Witch mind controlled Hulk in Age of Ultron, Thanos, Enchantress, and even Doctor Strange have all used mind control or magic to subdue the Hulk or Bruce Banner rather than try to physically defeat them. I've done the whole mind control thing. Not a fan. Compared to a character like Superman with super speed, strength, and intellect, the Hulk just doesn't stack up. Do this the easy way where you don't use that and the other guy doesn't make a mess. His skin isn't impenetrable. While normal bullets may not do any more than just piss the Hulk off, his skin can be pierced. Adamantium and Vibranium have both been known to break his skin, with Wolverine's and Black Panther's claws giving him nasty injuries at various points of the storyline. That's it. You just roll over, show your belly. He can be defeated by puppies. In what goes down in history as the most adorable weakness ever, S.H.I.E.L.D. used a box full of puppies to turn the Hulk back into Bruce Banner. That is without a doubt the dumbest thing I've ever heard. So while Hulk might be strong enough to catch a missile fired at him and use it as a battering ram to beat his enemies into the ground, Fido is enough to calm him down and rid him of his super strength. He needs to breathe. For all his abilities, the Hulk still needs to breathe. Sure, he can hold his breath underwater for a long time, and in some cases, he can even breathe underwater. However, if you launched Hulk into space or somewhere with no oxygen at all, he would eventually die. Eventually. Probably destroy a few planets before he did, though. You're not gonna turn green? I've got a compelling reason not to lose my coal. 
bad writing. Like any fictional character, the Hulk is vulnerable to poor writing. Unfortunately, there's been a lot of bad writing with the Hulk. For all intents and purposes, the writers failed to give him a true weakness. Many fans have pointed out that he's almost impossible to kill and depending on the canon, can't even suffocate. There's nothing more boring than an unkillable character. Oh, it's definitely the end times. There you have it folks, 10 reasons why the Hulk might not be as strong as you think he is. If you like this video, let us know. Subscribe to CBR to get updates from our notification squad and check out the rest of our videos. Thanks for watching.